So we got this burbot today, so I'm gonna kind of show how to clean a burbot and then also how to cook it poor man's lobster style, which is gonna be the best type of meat that you've ever had. So behind the head, you could, if you just feel with your finger, you could feel where the soft meat meets the head. So you're gonna just kind of cut down that, tuck it right behind the armpit here you're just going to go all the way around the fish here, right for these fins. All this meat right here, this is all belly meat, so that's going to be a filet. All this side's a filet, and then this side's a filet. But, we take the skin off first. Get a good sharp knife. Just cut the skin away. That's all you're doing. Tuck it hard up against the head. And just like that. Then, you take your pliers, peel up the skin right here, right behind his back. You're just gonna start peeling away. This is a big old, good sized burbot, so you just work the skin down. Just like that. So you just peel the, the skin off it and it's got this nice white meat. And then you just fillet this side off like you would uh, any other fish, salmon or trout. And then you'll just take this belly fat off. You wanna be careful you don't go too deep in the belly so you don't hit any guts. But that's how you skin it. And now we'll fillet. Feel the backbone with your fingers. Just go straight down the back. And then there's bones, and you'll just peel the skin or the flesh from the bone. So you just use your knife, feel it as you go. That's that side, and then we also have, if you run your fingers right up against the innards and inside, you could feel this whole chunk. No. No. Be careful you don't get your finger, but this whole piece under here, up until where it meets the ribs underneath, is all belly meat. All good, precious, precious. Burbot. Let me cut that out. And then we'll work this one play right here. Doing the same thing as we did on the other side. Alright, so we got our burpee filleted. So you have the two sides and then you get a bunch of belly meat. Then you wash it. We're going to cut it up into about one inch size bite pieces. Make sure there's no bones in it. You get a pot of hot water with about a cup of sugar in it. And that's pretty much it for, uh, for a poor man's lobster out of bourbon. And we'll show you the rest. We got a burbot all cut up and we just caught this burbot today and as my friend Austin he taught us the way burbot don't keep 
which means you gotta eat it right away. You don't really have to, but it's just so good that you, as soon as you get it home, you clean it and you throw it in a pot and you eat it because it's so good. So, bourbon don't keep. Oh, no. All right, add our sugar to our pot. Add a cup of sugar. Thank you, Cannon. All right, no, our, water, you our water is boiling good. So now we're just gonna put our fish in. And how do you know it's done? It floats. You wanna float it? Loader. It's harder than no. Here we go. Here we Poor man's lobster. So good. Alright. Let's try it out. Tyler. First, you gotta say a tagline before you eat it. Tagline. Oh, Burby don't keep! <laughs> You're supposed to say burp donkey. <laughs> <laughs>